Hello and welcome to the next part of this series uh, where we are learning string manipulation by building a cipher. This is part of the Free Code Camp uh, Python certification that has been recently released. And uh, so far we have been able to cover steps 1 all through to 30. And in this particular video we are going to cover steps 31 through 40. So uh, our main focus in this video is going to be on assignment operators comparison operators and an introduction to conditional statements to be precise the if statements so if you are here for the first time kindly subscribe and uh, join us in this amazing journey as we continue to learn and uh, with that said you can check the previous videos in the series from on the top right corner here for a link to the playlist with that said let's get started with this series for today and uh, to begin with we are in step number 31 where on the previous one, we added a new variable called new char, and we assigned it the alphabet new index. So in step 31, we are required to print the new char that we added so that we are able to see the output. And remember, we did an introduction to the print function and how to initialize it and use it. So and uh, that's what we're going to put into implementation in this particular step. So add a print function and pass in the name of the variable that we need to be printed and in this case it's the new underscore char variable and as you can see on the console from the right side the variables that have been passed in here have been printed and uh, as usual to make sure that everything is correct we need to check our code and make sure that it passes before we proceed to the next challenge and uh, the next challenge is step number 32 and uh, it reads clean the output a bit delete print char index and turn the last print call into something similar to this so we need to get rid of this print statement here and uh, add modify the last print statement that we added to look familiar to this here so uh, you can go ahead and type this, but uh, for simplicity, I'm going to do a copy paste of these names here and replace it with this one here. So basically, this is uh, more of like concatenating names in our print statement, which we also discussed earlier. We said that uh, in a print statement, we can add many variables, but by separating them with comma so that they can be easily understood. And uh, for that, let's check our code to make sure everything passes correctly. And if you look at the console, you can see that we added a name to the variable. This, the first character here, represents the first one that we had initialized here. And the second one represents the one that has been initialized by this statement here. So let's proceed to the next challenge. Step number 33. At the moment, the encrypted character is updated in every iteration. It will be better to store the encrypted string in a new variable. Before your for loop, declare a variable called encrypted underscore text and assign it an empty string to this variable. So at the top here, we need to add a new variable called encrypted underscore text and assign it an empty string remember that uh, we also said that uh, whenever we are working with strings uh, they should be enclosed either in double quotes or single quotes and in our case here our variable should be assigned an empty string meaning it shouldn't have anything within it and uh, that's what we have done here and uh, let's proceed to the next challenge which is step number 34 now replaced replace new underscore char with encrypted text also modify the print call to reflect this change so um we need to replace anywhere we have this variable name we need to replace it with this variable name that we just created in our previous step so we are going to copy the name and uh, the first place we have that one is here we need to replace this one and uh, as you can see our printed uh, text in the console has disappeared uh, mainly because uh, we haven't yet initialized the variable name in our print statement meaning it won't be able to show but for that uh, we means it means we also need to modify our print statement to match our variable name so we need to modify this one here 
and as you can see the text is back but this won't make our test to pass because we also need to modify this statement here and uh, get rid of this underscore and check if our code passes and it does let's proceed to the next challenge and that is step number 35 instead of assigning alphabet new underscore index to encrypted underscore text assign the current value of encrypted text plus alphabet underscore new to this variable so um our focus will be on this statement here it is saying it is says that instead of assigning instead of assigning these variable this value to this variable name we need to assign the current value of encrypted text plus the value of the new underscore index so we need to assign these encrypted text plus this value we have here so uh, for this uh, we need to copy this one here and paste it in here and add a plus sign and uh, yeah as you can see these uh, changes on our console and it prints our output in form of a format that looks kind of a triangle a right angled triangle so let's check our code to make sure that it passes correctly and it does let's proceed to the next change uh, now this is where we do our first introduction to the assignment operators and uh, basically we are going to learn how to do additions in different formats so you can obtain the same effect of a is equals to a plus b by using the addition assignment operator and uh, this is the syntax you can achieve this by using this same syntax that has been highlighted here this enables you to add a value to a variable and then assign the result to that variable now our task for this particular step use the addition assignment operator to add a value and assign it to the same time as this so uh, we need to get rid of this basically and employ this new format that we have learned here so we need to get rid of this and make use of the new syntax that we have learned and uh, basically that will be to add an equal sign before here and as you can see this is before uh, adding the plus sign and this is after adding the plus sign we get the initial design that we had the right angle pair the right angle triangle kind of design that uh, we had earlier after making use of encrypted text underscore text plus the alphabet which gave us this particular uh, shape that we had here so let's check uh, our test to make sure that the code passes before we proceed to the next step which is step number 37 and uh, here we make an introduction to comparison operators in python and it reads comparison operators allow you to compare two objects based on their values you can use a comparison operator by placing it between the objects you want to compare. They return a boolean value which is either true or false depending on the truthness of the expression. And uh, here are some of uh, the comparison operators that uh, we have in Python. We have the two equal signs which will resemble to equal. We have the not equal sign greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to and uh, for our task in this particular step we are required to do this at the top of your for loop at the top of your for loop print the result comparing char with an empty space use the equality operator is equals to uh, so at the top of our for loop here we need to print a new we need to add a new print statement that will check and compare uh, the result of the chart to an empty string so we are going to do print into brackets char and compare it to an empty string and uh, let's check if this passes correctly and it does and uh, if you take note on our console on the right side there has been change in our in our output uh, and uh, basically now what it does like uh, it's checking if the char element that was declared earlier in our for loop here 
is equal to an empty string and if it's equal we are supposed to get these uh, particular values here and if it's not then we are getting a false statement meaning it's not equal let's proceed to the next step and uh, that's step number 38 currently spaces get encrypted as c to maintain the original spacing in the plain message you will require a conditional if statement this is composed of if keyword a condition and a colon and uh, here is the syntax of an if statement in python at the top of your for loop replace the print char equal to an empty string with an if statement so we need to replace this print statement here with an if statement and what should we do in the if statement so the condition of this if statement should evaluate to true if char is an empty space and false if otherwise so inside the if body print the string space remember to ident this line so let's add an if statement and what are we checking we are checking if char is equal if char is equal to an empty string and if it is then we should print space and exclamation mark and uh, remember we said that uh, identification in python is very important and uh, identification in python is equal to four spaces so and uh, that's what you have here and uh, to be sure if this works correctly uh, you can see on our console here every empty space that we had has been replaced by the word space followed by the exclamation sign to be sure that our code passes let's run our test before proceeding with the next step which is step number 39 now instead of printing space use the conditional assignment operator to add the space to the current value of encrypted so instead of doing this let's replace this statement we're going to add the encrypted text and add this to the empty space and uh, this should be able to work the wonders and uh, let's check if our code works and uh, it doesn't so let's uh, check where the errors are and uh, yep and i think uh, we need to replace the name we had the name written out wrongly and uh, yes now let's check if the code passes and uh, it seems like uh, we got an error and it says like uh, you should use the plus equal operator to add char to the current value of encrypted text yeah so uh, we need to add char here and not the empty string so let's check if that works and uh, let's now check our code and uh, yeah it does it so now let's proceed to step number 40 uh, where we dive deep into the conditional statement by introdu introducing the else block so a conditional statement can also have an else clause this clause can be added to the end of an if statement to execute alternative code in the condition and uh, this is the syntax of the if else statement and uh, as you can see in your output when the loop iteration reach space a space is added to the encrypted string then the code outside the if block executes and a c is added to the encrypted string okay to fix it add an else clause after this and ident it the yeah so um yeah so this is uh, what you're supposed to do so uh initially uh, the code uh, was like these and uh, yeah so this is what we had so uh we needed to add an else statement here and uh, ident these previous code with four spaces as usual uh, so that uh, the code looks like this and uh, with this let's make sure that uh, this passes before proceeding to the next step which is step number 41 which will be taking a look at it in the next series in the next video in this amazing series so see you in the next video